Does anyone know what's going on in this video? The skin is being lifted up, the underlying muscle layer is being grasped, and pulling on this muscle layer is actually affecting change in the mid face and the corner of the mouth. This patient is actually undergoing a deep plane facelift. The facial skin is actually tethered to the facial skull cranium via certain ligaments. There are three primary ligaments that are doing this. One is in this area right in here, which is called the zygomatic ligament. There's another one right in this region here called the masseteric ligament. And there's a third one right in here called the mandibular ligament. These ligaments are actually retaining ligaments that hold all these tissues in place. So if you want to do an adequate facelift and really lift the tissues, you need to release these ligaments to actually allow the tissues to move. So if you really want to do an appropriate facelift, what we actually end up doing is first lift the skin. When we're lifting the skin, we actually do dissect this region right in here all along the jawline in order to release that mandibular ligament. There's actually another ligament down in this region called the cervical ligament. We're not really discussing this because that's primarily important in the neck portion of the case. Once that's done, we actually dive underneath the muscle layer, which is the SMAS layer, and that's where the balance of all of these other ligaments are released, primarily the zygomatic ligament as well as the masseteric ligament. Many people call this type of a lift as a deep plane lift and all there's a whole bunch of terms, but when you can adequately resect all of these ligaments, you can really move these tissues and get a good natural result that lifts the mid face, sharpens the jawline without a windswept or tensioned look. The other added value benefit is that there is no tension on the skin edges, which allows a natural soft closure. So here is the same patient that we showed the dissection on, and she is shown here six days after surgery. You can clearly see where this fat pad used to be in this region right here, and it has been repositioned all the way back up here. So therefore, she has a nice volumized area of her mid face with a nice sharp jawline with increased shadowing of her jawline. This entire face here has been, all the tissues have been moved in the appropriate direction and there is no tension on these skin edges at all. She's actually shown here just six days after surgery and you can see that if you minimize tension on skin edges, there is no windswept look, there's no tension on these skin edges and these incisions heal very well.